sometimes you just need a shout out to the world without opening your mouth. Whatever it is, it's permanent, it's for life. The ultimate statement. Today we're checking out the artists, the inked out girls and guys, and everyone else who digs the culture. I'm one of them. I'm Action Trinity, and I'm back on board United Flight 913. They made their mark on me last year. Let's see if this year they make their mark on you. Jackie and Tattoo Lou today. I was here last year and it's still going strong and awesome. Tell me about the show. I have a ton of artists here uh, from all around the world. I got artists here from Japan, Italy, Sweden, wow. Russia. Ireland, Russia. I mean, they came from all around the world, all across the United States, California. These guys are right here. Um, so we got a great turnout of artists. They were very excited about this show and happy to be here at the Cradle of Aviation. Yeah, this is a very unique place. I walked through it and it's like there's tattoo guys in between the planes and everything. Yeah. It's awesome. Yep. We that, thought the backdrop would kind of inspire them and, yeah. you know, get them all hyped up and everybody really likes it. So we're here today with Crazy Face and this is obviously not his first barbecue. So this is obviously more than just a hobby. It's a lifestyle for you. Tell me more about yourself. Uh, yeah, uh, I got my first tattoo when I was 11 years old. Wow. Uh, my mother passed away at an early age and I'm doing this as a tribute to her oh, and I, I'm a preacher. So I use the tattoos to reach out to children and, and youth that wouldn't talk to somebody in a normal surrounding that's in a suit and tie. We're here with Kayla Knight, and we're finding out all about Inked Angel. So what makes it Inked Angel? Inked Angel, well, we have the United Inked Tour, so we have our Inked Angel, which are our heavily modified, heavily inked up models that go around promoting and helping mainly the main lady, our main promoter, Jackie Rubino, do all of her little, well, what she has to do, basically. Hi, I'm with Jen and Kay over here, and obviously beautiful Inked Angels. So what I wanted to ask you guys is what makes ink so sexy? Um, I think it takes balls to get tattoos. That's what was my um, next question, the brain. Yeah, um, I think anybody who says a tattoo doesn't hurt is full of it. It absolutely hurts, and you earn every bit of it. And I think that's incredibly sexy for a woman. But how does it make you feel? Because obviously you feel very sexy with tattoos. I mean, I do. Um, before I had them, I didn't feel as sexy as I do now. And because I do have them now, I plan to be completely covered from head to toe. Probably not my face, but definitely my head and my throat and you know it's just it's just the way it can shape a woman's body or even a man's body and it's just it's incredibly sexy and you don't mind flaunting it all over no <laughs> both of you another inked out beautiful angel uh, i i want to ask you for some girls it's like a new hairdo a manicure pedicure what makes it a tattoo for you oh man <laughs> i don't know i mean i'm working on this tattoo right now i can't wait to finish it i just want to get more and more <laughs> it's definitely it. yeah i now, really do just the the look of it or do they have meaning to you? Well, I mean, um, this one definitely has uh, a lot of meaning for me. My peacock, basically the peacock symbolizes um, loving yourself and loving the gifts of your big given. So, oh, yeah, beautiful. definitely. Thank you. Can we, get, can we do a little spin around and check out all your tattoos? And our angel wings. I love angel wings. How do I earn my pair? I have to get a lot more tattoos, right? Here they have it all, even magicians. Here we are with Ivan Stratienko. Insane Ivan, right? That's right. I know you. Here's, here's something a little bit more up close and magical, okay? Okay. I'm gonna try to trick you in front of everyone. Okay. If you don't mind, uh, pick a card, any card. Now, you can choose any one. Don't let me force you to pick a card. Okay. <laughs> any one. Look at your card and remember it. Do I show it? Show the, to the camera, perfect. Okay. And uh, here, place it right there. Perfect. I'll make it stick it in the, out of the deck. Okay. You can see it. The five times I've seen this trick before, I don't care okay. what it is. <laughs> and you write with your right hand? Yes. Okay, with your right hand then, push your card all the way into the spread here, all the way in. Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? Hi, we're here with Cheryl from Crimson Culture Tattoo. Hey, Cheryl, how you doing? I'm great. How are you? When someone comes to you for a tattoo, do they usually have a, an idea in mind or they come with the work or do you come up with usually it? Usually the clients have their own idea 
and it's my job to guide them on the best approach to the idea and find a happy medium between what I like to do and what they would like to see. Yes, because I know that's very hard. Like, you guys are the artists, but yet people kind of want a certain thing, and then right. it's like, how do you put what you want on their body? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, that's the thing. I also don't have to like the subject. I have to like the tattoo. So there you have it. Is it art, a statement, or a lifestyle? I'm one of them, and I say it's all the above. Maybe you should stop and think. Is it time for your ink? For Cubo Media TV, I'm Action Trinity. Hey, hey.